Hello students, in this video I will go through the steps needed to construct a perpendicular bisector through a given line segment. Let's take a look. All right, so what I'm going to do, and I'm gonna ask you to do the same. So on a sheet of blank paper, what you're going to do is you're going to draw yourself a line segment. And I'm gonna draw it right down the middle here. So something like that, okay? Nice and big, so you can work with it. I'm gonna name this left-hand side, I'm gonna call that A. I'm gonna call the right-hand side B. And what I want to do with this line segment is I want to uh, draw a line going right down the middle and that line is supposed to intersect this given line segment at a right angle. So how am I going to do that? You know, we can, artists do this all the time. We can like ballpark things and draw it in and it will look re uh, relatively accurate. But we're not going for like a, uh, we're not going for an artistic skill. We're trying to go for precision here. So how are we going to uh, approach this? You're gonna take your compass. Now what a compass does is, it actually does two things. It, it, do, it doesn't just draw circles, it actually measures distances. And it measures distances uh, quite accurately. So it doesn't um, measure a, a distance with any particular kind of unit but we can open up the compass and we can get a, um, a distance out of that. So imagine this, I have the straight edge right now lined up to where I believe the perpendicular bisector would be. So imagine with me, right, that I have a point right here. The point that's on this perpendicular bisector, the distance that that point is away from point B, will it be the same or will it be different from the distance from that point to from of that same point to point A. The distance on either side, right, to either endpoints should be the same. And what we want to do, all the points on the perpendicular bisector is going to have that property. So if I have another point over here, somewhere closer to the line segment, that point, the distance at that point is away from B, that same distance is going to be the distance that that point is away from A and so forth. So what you wanna do, okay, is we wanna uh, construct that idea. How are we going to do that? You're gonna take your compass, and what you're going to do is you're gonna place your pin on one of the endpoints. I'm placing it on B first. It really doesn't matter which one you place it on. I wanna place it on B first. And what you wanna do is you wanna open up the compass. I wanna reach that point that's above here, right? That's above the line segment. So how am I going to do that? Well, the rule is you're gonna open up your compass to a little more than halfway. You see that? My compass right now, it's open up to a little more than halfway. So I'm gonna remove my straight edge because I really don't need the straight edge for this step right now. I'm opening up my compass to a little more than halfway. I'm going to draw an arc above the line and I wanna draw that same arc below the line. Now how much of an arc are we drawing? It really doesn't matter. Because what I want to do, that point, that imaginary point that I was having you guys, you know, um, imagine with me, that point is going to be somewhere on that arc. I don't know where it is, but it really doesn't matter, okay? Because I'm going to, tr I'm going to figure out where that point is by doing the next step. I'm going to take this compass with the same setting now. Remember, we said where I, I've um, described to you that the point that was on the perpendicular bisector, the distance that that point is away from B, right, which is this compass setting, should be the same as the distance that the point is away from A. So I wanna keep the same compass setting. You don't change it. You place the pin on A, and what you do is you're gonna draw the same kind of arc, but on the other side. And I'm going through this a couple of times because I want it to show up on camera. You don't have to do it so many times. Yeah, just as long as you're able to see it, but I'm doing it a couple of times because I want it to show up on camera. So you do it above the line segment and you do it below the line segment. And make sure that the arc intersects because 
the intersection of those two arcs will give you the point that's on the perpendicular bisector. And then what you do, now that we have two points, you need a minimum of two points to form a line, right? So I take my straight edge, and you're going to line up the straight edge at the point of intersections. And what you do is you're going to draw a line down, connecting these two. And there you have it. That's your perpendicular bisector. Now, if I take my protractor here and I measure the angle between the perpendicular bisector and the given line segment, it should say 90 degrees. Let's see if it actually does that. If I take the, place the, um, that little point right there at the point of intersection and line it up, you're going to see that it lines up exactly at 90. Okay? So again, just to sum up, what you do is you take your compass, place your place the pin on, on one of the endpoints, open up the compass to a little more than halfway, draw an arc above and below the line, and then repeat that step by placing on the other endpoint and draw an arc above and below. The intersection is again going to be equal and distant from either endpoints. All of the points are going to be equal and distant from either endpoints.